Today, I'm gonna to be reacting to your assumptions about me while baking Valentine's Day cookies. I posted on Instagram and asked you guys to make assumptions about me so that I could react to them. So I got a bunch here and I'm going to be reacting while I bake. The first thing I need to do is take my one stick of butter, softened, I've let it sit out all day because I knew what I was going to be doing today. The first assumption somebody made was you only like Starbucks because of the brand. And that assumption is false, okay? I will admit, when I was younger and I was in middle school, every young girl likes Starbucks because of the brand, okay? You got your cute little, little drink that's not even coffee, it's a cup of sugar, but you're having fun while you're drinking it, okay? So obviously then I liked it, but now I actually drink coffee and I like coffee and I just love their coffee. One cup of sugar. Guys, I'm losing my voice right now and I'm not quite sure why, so that's why I kind of sound like a man, a homeless one at that. One cup of sugar. The next assumption, and when I say this was the most said assumption, I mean, y'all did not give me a break, was you're secretly pregnant. No! I'm not! Do I look secretly pregnant? If I do, let me know, because I'm gonna be a little, a little self-conscious, but no, I'm not secretly pregnant, and I don't plan on being secretly pregnant anytime soon. Now I'm gonna cream together my butter and sugar. Okay, I'm done mixing that together. Moving on. The next assumption somebody made was, I think you eat a lot, but you're really skinny. And that assumption is false, okay? I wish I was. I wish I could be somebody that just eats and eats and eats and eats and eats and stays skinny, but I don't have genetics like that. I'm not built like that. When I was younger, I was. Like when I was in high school, I ate a lot and I literally just stayed the same. I never got, I never gained weight. And then one day, it just, I just started gaining weight when I wasn't eating healthy. So unfortunately, I'm not one of those girls that can just eat whatever she pleases and not gain weight. So, that one is wrong. My secret special recipe calls for three cups of flour in a different bowl, so I'm gonna do that. I almost have this recipe memorized by now because I've made them so many times. These are actually my Christmas cookies that I made, but I am just gonna be cutting them into hearts and decorating them for Valentine's Day. Multi-purpose recipe. Next, I shall do one teaspoon of baking powder. If you guys make this recipe, let me know. I don't remember where I got it from, but now I feel like it's my own recipe because I made it so much. Kate's ultimate baking, baking, baking show. The next assumption somebody made about me was, I think you own a Stanley in every color. This girl, who? What, when, where, and why made you think that? Because that is like, me personally, listen, I am all for shopping. I'm all for collecting. I'm all for all of those things. But I've never understood owning 15 different colored Stanley cups because isn't the purpose of getting a reusable cup to reuse it? Call me crazy, but I thought that was what those were made for. But I guess not, I guess they're a collector's item now. And I mean, to each their own, like I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not much of a tree hugger myself. I'm also pretty humble because I don't have a Stanley and somebody called me out on that. I have a simple modern. Okay, she's classier than a Stanley. Okay, I mixed together all of our dry ingredients and now I'm back to the wet ingredients. I'm going to crack an egg into my sugar and butter mixture, okay? I, oh, that made a mess. I don't really, uh, I don't like cracking eggs. They're kind of yucky, if you know what I'm saying. I'm now adding my secret ingredients, love. Just kidding. So instead of using vanilla extract, I use almond extract and I think it just makes the taste way better. I'm adding a teaspoon of that. This stuff is very strong though, so if you add too much, you'll be able to tell and it won't taste as good. That's my life hack. Almond extract tastes way better in sugar cookies than vanilla extract. That's all you're gonna learn from this video, guys. Now I shall mix together the wet ingredients. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice consistency. I've never done a consistency this nice before. Oh yeah. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see the 
the, the consistency of the wet ingredients all together. I know I see it. I think I'll read another assumption now, and I take a little bit to heart. You would definitely cry if a teen girl made a sarcastic joke about you. And what about it, okay? <laughs> yeah, I get my feelings hurt easily. And I don't see nothing wrong with that, quite honestly. I think if I had the choice to have no feelings whatsoever and never cry, or have too many feelings and cry every single day, I think I'd still choose to cry every single day because it's therapeutic, if you know. Kaya, this is where things are starting to get... Like, what just happened? Listen. I'm about to expose myself here. Somebody said, me, girl. No, okay, I, I would like to think of myself as a nice person. Ask anybody, ask anybody if I'm a nice person. However, don't ask the people that I went to middle school with because that is a different story. And to anybody I went to middle school with, I'm sincerely sorry that you had to know me. I was a mean girl in middle school and I was highly insecure. So when I say, oh, someone's being mean to you because they're insecure, I can contest. Because I used to be a mean girl who was insecure and the only reason I was mean was because I was insecure and I felt like being mean to people made me better. And it didn't. And I learned that the hard way, unfortunately, because after I was done being mean to people, people started being mean to me and it didn't feel very good. So learn from my mistakes, don't be mean. <laughs> yeah, you gotta mix it all together with your hands. I feel like I don't know what kind of videos to make, okay, because I'm just a girl and a teenage one at that for six more months, for five more. Oh my goodness. I am only going to be a teenage girl for five more months. Oh, my world has just been rocked. But while I'm still a teenage girl, give me some video ideas, things you'd like to see. I added way too much water. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. We can fix it, honestly, like I'm, I literally can fix anything. Give me two seconds. <laughs> 10 years later. Yeah, that's a ball of cookie dough if I ever seen. Yeah. Okay, as I package her away, let's go over this message. Someone said, you repost the same content on Snap because you forget to make more. I have never been exposed so hard in my life by one of you guys, okay? I don't know how that girl figured out my dirty secrets, but she did. That's why you guys will go to my Snapchat story and see things from three months ago. I either forget or it's just like a day where I'm just chilling and stuff and I don't feel like making content. Look at her all cute and packaged up. Now it has to chill in the refrigerator for about an hour, so I'm gonna go put her in the fridge and I'll get back to y'all when she's done chilling. One eternity later. Now that our cookie dough has been chilling for an hour, it's time to cut her up into the fun shapes and decorate. I'm assuming that whoever made this assumption doesn't follow me very closely, but they said, you look really young. And to that I say, Defined really young, which is kind of weird. I feel like I actually get that a lot, especially meeting new people. I gotta flower my surface before I roll out my cookie dough so it doesn't stick everywhere. I mean, I'm 19, if that's young for you. Hi guys, I wanted to angle you so you could watch me roll out my cookie dough. Oh, this is gonna be a challenge. The Lord's way of telling me I should start doing cardio again. You wanna try my cookie dough? <laughs> you got some dough. Huh? Give me some dough. So that's what we're not gonna be doing. No, I'm not eating raw cookie dough. I'm not trying to get salmonella. salmonella. I don't want a salmonella. Okay guys, I'm doing half a roll to get it rolled out. Here goes my thing. Ooh, ah. Wait, that's so cute. Uh, I love it. Uh, Tortoise? What'd you say? Oh, do you have a sword? Yeah, I have a sword. And my sheath. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Sorry you guys had to watch that. <laughs> Someone said, and if, I don't know if this is an insult, but if this is an insult, I will proudly wear this insult on my sleeve. But they said, you probably use drugstore makeup. Is that supposed to be an insult, you think? Huh? <laughs> He's playing with his spear. And if that was supposed to be an insult, good try, but I'm not insulted because drugstore makeup is cheap. And half the time works just as good. But I know y'all, I know you guys are a bunch of Sephora 10 year olds and I know that's who's watching my video. And hey, how you doing? I love you guys, but 
I do use. Do you think you could beat me if you had a sword? Nope. I'm baking Valentine's Day cookies right now, babe. I'm busy. Good news, everybody. I got all my cookies cut out. So now it's time for the easy part, which is to bake them. So I'm gonna put them in the oven and let them bake. I bake them at 375 for 10 minutes. Alexa, please set a 10 minute timer. Setting a timer for 10 minutes, you fatty. Just have to wait for them to bake now, but I'm gonna try to clean up my mess a little bit. And then we get to decorate. They're ready. Okay, now it's time for the best part. And I'm gonna finish reading y'all's assumptions while I decorate my Valentine's Day cookies. Um, now, I thought I would be festive and put up some decorations, so that's what that is. And look, it matches my plate I'm gonna be decorating on. It's cute, and if you don't think so, get out of here. Now I'm just playing. I don't even know what I wanna do with my first cookie. Okay, I feel like I have to go in with the pink. Frosting, is this icing or frosting? What's the difference? Does anybody really know the difference between vanilla frosting or vanilla icing? Like, isn't it all the same, honestly? I don't know. Someone made the assumption you're tall in real life. Um, yeah, I am, I'm 5'9", and one time someone commented on my video, I was like, oh, I'm 5'9", and someone was like, there's no way she's above like 5'4", and I was very offended, because why would I be 5'4"? Next, you dance when you get excited. Do I? Probably, honestly. I don't know how much how much frosting is too much. Like I want I wanna make my craftsmanship worth my while, you know? Like I don't wanna decorate some ugly cookies. Hey guys, I'm literally I'm stressing so hard I don't know why. I feel like my life is depending on decorating these cookies in a cute way. Oh yeah, this is a Valentine's Day cookie if I have ever seen one. But you don't got much decorations. Yeah I do. I got sprinkles and I got piping bags if you wanna draw. That's purple. We're only doing... Cash, please don't ruin the aesthetic. What? I'm making cute Valentine's Day cookies. I'm not making ugly ones. Well, why would you just assume mine are going to be ugly? Because I saw the way you plopped that purple icing down. Alright guys, my cookie's about to be the best cookie. You guys just wait. Wait, is this turning into a cookie off? Is that what this is turning into? Uh, no, no, it's not turning into a cookie off. It sounds like it's turning into a cookie off, and I think that's what I want to happen. And you are not prepared. All right, guys, here's my cookie. I don't feel like you guys can see it. I feel like it's glaring. See, it says love. Happy Valentine's Day. Fun fact, I actually hate eating these type of cookies. They're fun to, like, decorate, but eating these things suck. Someone said you were really nervous about getting married at 18. Not particularly, actually. I was more just ready to be married, if you know what I'm saying. I was tired of waiting. I felt like I had waited so many years already, and then they were just like, oh, you have to wait more just because you're not 18. So I waited, and I waited, and then by the time I was 18, I wasn't nervous. I was just excited. To be married, I am a cookie decorator at heart. Are you kidding me? Since this happens to be a video about love, what better way to fill this air while I decorate my love cookies than tell y'all my best love advice? Number one, make them cute Valentine's Day cookies that are heart-shaped and you will be loved very much. Okay, wow. She is fantastic, okay. See, she says, I don't remember what I was saying actually, so we're gonna start from the beginning. Love advice from the love experts since I didn't get married when I was 18 and all, and I just know everything about love there is to know about love. I think the biggest piece of love advice I have for my audience would be don't be awkward, okay? And I know it's so much easier said than done. The reason so many like middle school relationships fail is because people just don't know how to not be awkward. You know, there might be, you might be middle school sweethearts and you might be meant to get married, but you don't know how to talk to each other in person, okay? And that's not normal. I'm just kidding, it is normal for your age. Advice number three for the ladies, don't settle, okay? I know it's hard, I know it's hard when you're younger especially, and there's nobody taller than you, and they just like a highlighter, and they bully the teachers in class because they have nothing better to do, but don't settle for that, okay? One day there will be somebody, that doesn't dress like a highlighter. And one day, there will be somebody who doesn't 
bully middle school teachers and make them cry and leave their classrooms, okay? We've all been there. Yeah, just don't be, don't settle for the mean boys, okay? And to all my girlies out there who are like, oh, no guys want me, I was there too. And guess what? A guy did want me somehow for some reason. I can make a whole video, honestly, on stuff like this, you know? giving y'all advice on how to survive your teenage years because lord knows i barely survived just kidding i survived fine i just had borderline criminal record um but that's besides the point she's so cute oh my goodness i want to just put her in my pocket and take her home <laughs> anyways my advice is don't smell and you would think that is self-explanatory but it's not and it's unfortunate that it's not because that just means that those people probably don't have somebody in their corner telling them to not smell. So here I am telling you to wash your body, wear deodorant. If you have perfume, you know that's nice. If you don't have perfume, that's also fine. You don't need perfume, but if you have it, you know, use that to your advantage. But yeah, just like basic hygiene, brush your teeth. That is, you guys would be shocked at how many people don't know that, okay? And I experienced that firsthand when I was in school. I don't know how this video turned in from answering your assumptions about me to like life advice, but I'm not gonna lie. It's 10 o'clock and I'm a little bit tired now. Um, and once I'm done, I'm probably gonna take a bite, a couple bites, maybe eat a whole cookie. These are pretty big cookies, I'm not gonna lie. And they're really thick. So they like, I usually don't just eat one. Oh, I only have four more? How many did I make? Six? 10, I made 10 cookies. Oh my gosh, y'all are not ready for this. I wrote my crush's name, but don't tell him. Isn't it so cute? I'm gonna give it to him. Maybe I'll give it to him at the end of the video. Okay, the sprinkles kind of covered it up a little bit, but you can you can kind of see it says my name. Isn't that so freaking cute? I finished the last cookie and there's so many, but I think it's time for a taste test. So I'm gonna taste test the one that has my name on it and I'll let y'all know if I did good. I'm very impressed with myself. It's so cute. I did so good. Thank you guys for watching. I will see y'all next time. Bye.